Hey everyone, it's Ian Bird, and today's bird bite comes to you from my front yard. Bird bites. Chomp. Lots of the questions that I got had the word engagement in it. People are looking for engaging activities. And I always like to ask, what do you mean by engagement? What does engagement look like in the classroom? If I were to walk in, what would be on my checklist of things I'm looking for? And 10 different teachers will give me totally different answers about what engagement means. For some people, it's extremely active and students are talking to each other and moving around a lot. To me, when my son is engaged, it's the opposite. He's not moving at all. He's not talking at all. He's sitting there quietly watching and listening. And that's the only time that he sits there quietly watching and listening is when he's really engaged. So the word engaging is an example of education jargon. We throw it around all the time, but we don't stop and define it. Other examples would be rigor, critical thinking, differentiation. If we're using these words, we have to make sure that everyone in the room agrees on what they mean, or they might mean completely opposite things to two people in the room. So always make sure you're defining jargon. Don't use acronyms without making sure everybody knows what they are. But back to engagement specifically, I don't think it's something you can really aim for because engagement comes out of a well-designed, well-executed lesson. And it can look completely different depending on what your goal is. Engagement might be quiet, engagement might be loud. It depends on the lesson. It's sort of like the word delicious. You can't really ask a chef, hey, how do I make delicious food? Because one type of food's deliciousness is very different from another. Delicious Japanese food is going to taste totally different than the delicious barbecue I had when I went to Alabama. You can't really aim for delicious because it's so context dependent. So in the same way, engagement will flow out of a well-constructed lesson. All right, that's it for today's Bird Bite. If you have a question for me, you can email me ian at birdseed.com and I'll see you in the next one.